Hi right, fellas, I'm back with a part two of the um, Schilling Aerodrome. Okay, as I mentioned uh, to a few of my, uh, my friends um, on the uh, pages, that um, I wanted to slow it down. That's why I never really used this in a display before, but because, as I'll show you again here, the planes go incredibly fast. Uh, that's barely half speed, um, half wind up. Okay, and. Um, go full wind up it's just it's ridiculously fast and so I was trying to come up with an idea how to slow them down okay and this is not a regular wind up like the uh, tractors and trains I've showed you this one here is more of a um, well it's, it's not a clockwork wind up it's a spring activator wind up you got a handle down here okay you simply move this handle over okay and release it in the spring slowly tracks moving the gears inside that turns the, the main shaft that turns the planes now I tried pushing a putting a rubber band over here thinking that the tension of the rubber band would slow it down that did not work I put magnets on each of the wings of the uh, three planes to add weight that did not work um, I actually tried putting a little flapper over here to try to uh, create drag that didn't work. So, then I got to the point where I thought to myself, you know what, this is silly. I'm, I'm wrecking this. Um, I'm butchering this um, beautiful toy, which is in perfect mint condition, just to satisfy myself and make it uh, run slow. And um, it, 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 was, uh, it was not worth it, number one. I don't want to destroy a perfectly good mint toy. Um, but number two, um, I have another tower, as I showed you. I have another tower, exactly like this, same exact toy, without the planes. So I decided to, um, to use the other tower. And what I came up with was, I believe the biggest problem is not the weight of the planes, not even really the mechanism. Um, the reason why it goes so fast... Uh, well, the, the spring certainly is very strong, but the reason why I can't slow it down is because I'm not decreasing the diameter of the circle. The diameter of the circle, okay, is what defines what how fast any wheel spins. To put it in mechanical terms, if you look at a tire on a car, okay, it'll be a 13, 15, 16-inch tire, that tire does not... When, when that tire turns, the bearing in the center of that tire turns many, many more times than the tire because it's smaller. The bigger the diameter, the less revolutions it makes. So I got thinking about that simple mechanical thing, which, um, you know, being a retired mechanic, that's what came to my mind. And with the tractors, I know that the bigger tires, obviously, uh, make less revolutions to cover um, the same amount of um, distance. So with that simple mechanical formula in mind, I took a couple of little toys I had. I had these couple of gondolas here from an old toy that was broken. And uh, I save all my broken toys. <laughs> and um, what I did was I took a regular wooden dowel and I attached the two gondolas and that is about 20 inches okay 20 inches from one gondola to the other it's quite a it's, it's quite a spread plus the fact the gondolas are all metal and they're not very lightweight they are not at all they're, they're, they're quite heavy uh, for something that small and, uh, <clears throat> and the dial itself adds weight. So I attach that to the center of the tower. And now I'm going to show you the weight plus the diameter of the circle which I created is the formula I needed. And this gondola turns beautifully. Really beautifully. I'll show you right now.
how nice and slow that turns. That's realistic. It's a beautiful slow turn. Because of the way that actually gets more turns. So, there's my solution to the um, the speed of this mechanical mechanism, which is simply a big spring in there connected to three gears. And um, so now I'm going to be putting this gondola uh, right smack in the middle of Farmerville. And uh, it's going to be a fe feature attraction, so to speak. Okay. Now that's at about half speed. Now you remember how fast that plane went at half speed. That is, that's very realistic. Really nice looking. And with a couple of characters in those buckets, that's going to really look nice. Also, the distance, <clears throat> you know, the, um, the tin plate shows characters up here in the tower, and the distance from the, the tower to the object is also more realistic. Those, the uh, planes were very close to the tower, very close, and that, uh, that wasn't realistic at all. So, um, this is my solution. And uh, pretty happy with it. I'd like to know what you guys think. So I basically took two toys and created one. And um, this is going to look really nice going around and around. While the trains are all going around it. This is going to be going around. And uh, it's going to make for a nice little addition to the Farmerville uh, display. Alright guys, that's it. That's just part two of this little situation here and uh, tell me what you think um, I might also include the uh, aerodrome in the Farmerville uh, train display um, but uh, the gondola is definitely going to be the uh, the feature the number one feature in the middle of Farmerville now that uh, is, uh, is going to be quite the eye catcher all right fellas thanks for watching I appreciate it and uh, like to hear your comments book them Daniel